Welcome back. Here we are in Dublin, 41 Skyview, presented by Clover Health on this cool night. Actually, not too bad in Dublin, 50 degrees right now. Calm wind, dew point at 32. Dublin should not see any rain as you roll through tonight. Here is what we are seeing radar wise. Again, a little bit of moderate rain in Butts Lamar and Northern Monroe County. Seeing that spread east into Jasper, a little bit in Putnam there, and some more, more moderate rainfall over in Hancock County. And not anything major. And again, this is going to fade out more as we continue through tonight. We saw that little 20% there for us in Macon. Maybe we see this roll through as we get towards midnight, but not going to last very long for us. And things are not going to stay very cloudy once we head towards tomorrow morning either. 41, partly cloudy with winds shifting from the southwest to the northwest. That will gust upwards of 20 miles per hour through tonight. Jackson and Barnesville down to 39. I honestly wonder why I'm showing this because some of these numbers most certainly are not going to be a uh, matching. Up. We're already kind of cool in a number of spots like McCray, for example, right? McCray has already gotten down to 40 and you're seeing 41 here. And maybe we do see more of those cooler conditions even further into the upper 30s for some of these southeastern counties. Just based on what we're seeing outside right now, things can be a little fickle when we get systems rolling through, especially during the overnight hours like this where, okay, rain a little more widespread than we initially anticipated. Nothing major going on there. Uh, tomorrow afternoon still should see plenty of sun. Maybe a little cooler than what we saw today. It definitely will be windier with that north northwest wind coming in, gusting over 25 miles per hour at times. But good amount of sun Thursday, high pressure rolling in to keep it dry into Friday, even though cloud cover will increase before decreasing again heading into Saturday. So continuing through tonight again, the rain should peter out a little bit. Maybe we do see a little bit of that rain for us west of I-75, but in terms of those west of I-75, but south of I-16, like say Butler, maybe even Roberta, those odds are going to be really, really hard. Like Dublin, okay, we're north of I-16, but odds are still very slim that we see any of that rain. Again, cloud cover does not linger for us. Chilly morning tomorrow, make sure to have the extra layer ready to go. Breezy, if not a little windy, for the afternoon. You do want to make sure to keep the extra layer handy. And then tomorrow night, I've got us getting pretty darn cold. A little colder than the numbers here. I believe actually that's at 31 or 30. Uh, we'll see that on the seven day when we get there. Anyways, we roll throughout your Thursday and we'll get that looking pretty pleasant as well. Our next decent chance for rain after tonight is going to be on a Sunday. So as you can see tomorrow morning, temperatures can Conditions. Not too bad out there, a decent amount of that sun, but it will get a little windy We're up to 57 for us in Macon. Your extended forecast is coming up in 10 seconds. The 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. So indeed, guys, below freezing again tomorrow night. Keep it kind of chilly through the overnight hours. We finish the week, but the afternoons looking pretty good, especially Saturday. Great day to get yeah. outside before the rain sets in on Sunday.